Three, two, one. Hello can culture, welcome back. Today we are doing bubble tea and specifically we're going to be looking at four different bubble teas that you can get here in Toronto. So let's get started. So here are four bubble teas. We've got one from Real Fruit, one from Cha Time, one from Coco, and one from Bubble Republic. Today I, Ashley, am going to be testing and tasting all of them under six different criteria. The six criteria is going to be taste of the tea, like the actual milk tea, uh, the texture of the tapioca balls inside, the aesthetic of our bubble teas. Another one is price, so how much they cost, and then also size. And then our sixth criteria is just overall like experience with the bubble tea. So I'm just gonna get started. First things first, we're gonna do the one from Real Fruit Bubble Tea. It looks like this. <laughs> I also have a very handy straw. I'm not biased to Cha Time, but I bought a metal straw from them because I like to save turtles and Can Culture likes to save turtles. First off the bat, just looking at it, it's like a really like thick, bubble tea like it's not like thin and tall it's just like a bit shorter but it's like big you know so i feel like we're getting a lot of bang for our buck here gotta go Can in someone? <laughs> okay <laughs> oh my gosh. all right so now we're gonna go first sip first sip of real fruit bubble tea Okay, I got about three tapioca balls in that, and what I will say right off the bat, this is one of my pet peeves, the tapioca is a little like starchy in the middle. Like I feel like it's not fully cooked, it has a bit of like a graininess to the center, which if cooked properly, I've noticed they don't always taste like that. As for the actual tea, the liquid tea, it's very sweet. And I know we asked for regular sweetness and regular sugar, but I feel like it's still overly sweet for being like regular. So far, she's still in the running because she's the first one we've tried, but she might not win. Next. Next up, we have Queen. Queen Cha Time. Everyone loves Cha Time. I love Cha Time. There she is, <laughs> a star. All right, so we're gonna try our Cha Time drink. All right, so now we got it all ready. We're gonna take a sip. First sip of cha time. Woo woo! <laughs> so, first thoughts of cha time. It tastes like home. It tastes like what I know. I love cha time. I think everyone loves cha time. Uh, I will say this one also has a bit of like a flavor, like. I think the other one tasted just like a true black tea, but this one for some reason has something that's a little like, like there's other, it tastes almost like honey or something, like there's a little bit, something sweeter, like the syrup they use isn't just like straight up syrup, I don't know what that would be, but it just doesn't taste like that. The tapioca, however, is better than the other tapioca. Next. Get her a napkin. Our next one is Coco, not to be confused with the flavor Coco, but the place Coco. I understand that would be confusing. I find it confusing. So, right off the bat, I just want to acknowledge the fact that she's not that thick. Like, she's quite tall, but because she's tall, she's not thick, right? That makes sense. So, I think it's still the same amount of drink you're getting, it's just in a different cup. That's like a metaphor for a lot of things. You're getting the same thing in different packages. All right. Oh. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Wipe that off my face, it's on my forehead. All right, here's our first sip of Coco's milk tea bubble tea. Okay, for this one, I would say the starchiness of the Tapioca is somewhere between the cha time and real fruit, so it's not too starchy that I'm upset But it's also not as chewy as cha times for the actual bubble tea though like the actual tea the milk tea It's really good. I think it has a good balance. It doesn't taste like there's any additional flavors It tastes pretty balanced to me. I like that this one is thinner because it's a bit easier to hold the other ones are kind of like big Like I said, so I feel like it's just more like a normal cup and I can just hold it very normally like a cup 
All right, next, last but not least, Bubble Republic. <laughs> Just kidding, it's pronounced Bubble Republic. I've never actually had Bubble Republic before. I've had the other three, so this is a completely new experience. So we could have a new winner or a new loser. Eight. <laughs> Believe it or not, that was the easiest one to put the straw in today. So I'm actually really happy about that. All right, cheers to Bubble Republic. Okay, what I will say is that I probably won't go again to Bubble Republic. Um, only because, first of all, starchiest tapioca we've had so far. And I thought real fruit was bad. This is a little too dusty in the middle, a little too sandy. You know what I mean? It's just not fully cooked. And the bubble tea itself, um, I'm gonna go for a second, but yeah, it's still not good. It's reminiscent of Play-Doh. <laughs> and it's like no hate, maybe this is just a bad one, but even the milk tea doesn't taste like there's enough of the tea concentrate. It tastes like a lot more milk. So I don't really like that. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't like that. All right, first, looking at real fruit. She was interesting. Honestly, at the start, I thought she was gonna be the worst. I've been proven wrong. She's not that bad. I would say my biggest beef with it is just, I think they don't usually put enough ice in this one, but also tapioca, a little bit starchy. But if you like that, I would go for real fruit. Second, cha time. I don't think you can go wrong with cha time. I think they definitely had the most consistent and best tapioca, so if that is really important to you, if tapioca is really important to you, then you'll go to cha time. Third, cocoa. Uh, she was actually the best, and I don't want to just say that because she's like all skinny and stuff. I'm not that kind of person, but you know what? It had the best tea consistency, like a good tapioca, good handhold. I don't really know what else you'd want. <laughs> Lastly, our friend uh, Bubble Republic, uh, commonly nicknamed Bubble Republic, but it wasn't good. It was not great. <laughs> It was a little bit starchy, starchy in the tapioca. The tea was not enough tea, too much milk. I don't want milk, I want milk tea. All that considered, I think we have a clear winner. Coco, yeah, Coco, there she is, gorgeous, woo! I would say in order of best to worst, I would say Coco, then Cha Time, then Real Fruit, <laughs> and then our new and last new friend ever, <laughs> Bubble Republic. So I hope this was educational. I hope maybe it was entertaining as well. And I hope you've learned a little bit about maybe a culture that you don't know a whole lot about. Bubble tea is Taiwanese and it actually is a really big part of Toronto culture. So if you're ever in Toronto and you want something exciting to spice up your day, I would definitely recommend bubble tea. My name is Ashley Alagraja. See you next time, Can Culture. I'm gonna have to do that whole take. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Can Culture, wow. <laughs>